So on the property here we got a lot of oaks. Uh, I believe they're all white oak for the most part. And we don't want to kill them. We're going to be clearing out a lot of this scrubby stuff, all the spruce and shit and poplar. But we got a few little oaks and Jody's going to tag them here with the yellow tape and we're going to tag the maples with the red tape. And we try and save them from destruction because uh, I'll be cutting all through the winter and once the leaves are gone sometimes it's kind of hard to tell what you're looking at and you just it's hard to tell a poplar from an oak in my opinion and we don't want to kill the good stuff so anyway you can see where the lot comes down here down a road and there's no more houses beyond this And the property ends right over here somewhere, but there's an old road goes through. I already cleared some of the scrub out of there, but going on in here, there's a, a road that goes way back. But it's a decent road. It uh, looks a little mushy. Probably going to need some rock or something on it. And all the properties along this side, for the most part, it's a mixed forest, about uh, 40 years old, maybe 30. Around that range, 30 to 40 years, I think a 40-year-old tree would be the oldest tree, maybe a 50-year-old tree on some of the edge right here. Like, that's a pretty old ash right there. That ash is about 90 feet pretty common tree around these parts. So, so are these poplars. Here's a big white pine. Uh, the unique uh, the unique aspect of this property is that on this back corner there's a big bank here where about one quarter of the property is down the bank and it overlooks the Meander River which is a little tough to see there right now. I'm going to remedy that in a little while. Not today, but eventually. It's a lot of trees to take out, but... I'm going to leave a lot of it, because I don't want the bank washing away into the river someday, so the trees will help to stop erosion. But, uh... There's a little four-wheeler path along the edge of the bank here. And I've bought a 34-foot camper that I'm going to put on it. And that's going to go right here. I just got to open it up a little bit. It's already pretty open. There's a little trail there and that big poplar, I got to drop that because it's sick on the bottom, it's going to fall. And a lot of these big poplars are going to go because poplars a fairly unstable tree, especially when they get about 40 years old. They start to get sick and die and they only lived about 60, 70 years old at the most anyway. So that big guy right there, he can stay because he's leaning towards the, the bank anyway. So someday that may let go, it'll probably just go down the hill. And it's not blocking the view. And I don't think you can see the view I've got down there, but once I get rid of some of that stuff, there's a big farm field down there. And the river winds down that way and over and back across. And you can just make it out there in the distance. But it's going to be lovely once I thin it out a little bit. I'll get rid of the spruces and stuff because they block the view and leave all the, the hardwoods growing on the hillside and uh, it goes on a ways that way another 150 200 feet that way but that's mine just paid for it yesterday it's a done deal and if you're wondering why half my tools disappeared my plasma cam and TIG welder and some other toys lathes gone brakes gone it was mostly to get this deal done and uh, find a place to live. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you a little more about that later.